Matapos pumirma ng bagong kontrata sa ABS-CBN, kapamilya A. Lister Star magkukuwit na nga ba sa showbiz? Ang mga kaganapan, tingnan ang mga detalye. Muling nagpahayag ang isang A-lister kapamilya star na ito kaugnay sa kanyang kasalukuyang showbiz career at sa pananatili niya sa ABS-CBN. Ang aktor na ito ay matagal ng bahagi ng ABS-CBN at nakagawa na ng mga dekalibring serye at pelikula. Latest ngayon ang paglilinaw ni kapamilya Hank aktor Piola Pascual kaugnay sa kanyang showbiz career na kung saan ay wala umano siyang intensyon na umalis o mag sa showbiz sa kabila ng kanyang pahayag noon na gusto niyang mag-retire bago siya mag-40 years old. Sa isang press conference ng sikat na life insurance sa bansa ay sinabi ni Piol Pascual na ito umano ay laging napopostpone. Ayon pa sa kanya ay sinabi niya lamang umano niya ng panahon na iyon na maaring bahagi ng midlife crisis. Tagdag pa niya ay lagi umano niyang passion ang baka sama sa industriya ng showbiz at gawin pa rin ito hanggat kaya niya. Sa kanyang pahayag ay sinabi, Actually, I said that before I turned 40, I'm 45 and I was talking to Derek Cate Garcia, we did a commissary and she just signed with ABNC beyond for a couple of years. I love what I do and being in this business gives me meaning so I guess I was being immature, feeling burnt out back then. You can call it a midlife crisis because you're too loaded up with work. And I told her, Derek, huwag na tayo magsasabi ng retirement kasi parang hindi rin naman natutuloy. For me, this is my passion. At this point of my life, I just wanna continue doing what I'm doing and this is something that I really appreciate, being in this business, being in front of you guys and just sharing my life. As long as I feel that I'm needed in this business or there is something that I can contribute and I will stay on. Kasalukuyan nga ibahagi si Piola Pascual ng Flower of Evil kasama si Lobby Poe. Nitong nakaraan ay naibahagi din ni Piolo na ang pandemic ay nagawang baguhi ng kanyang pananaw sa pag-ibig at nagawang maging kontento umano siya sa meron siya ngayon. Naniniwala umano siya sa destiny at hindi siya conscious looking for love sa kasalukuyan at nakafocus umano siya sa kanyang career. Ayon sa kanyang pahayag, during this pandemic, I realize it's not about having a partner per se but it's about having the independence to just love your life one day at a time. This pandemic has taught me a lot about discipline and it taught me to just appreciate life for whatever it keeps view by day. This pandemic has taught me a lot about discipline and it taught me to just appreciate life for whatever it gives you by the day. Hindi kasi ako naghahanap, yun ang mahirap dun eh but there would be come time for me to settle down. I wouldn't have any criteria or requirements so to speak because at the end of the day, it's about the heart, it's about your feelings. So that person might have something that really compliments you or gives you that feeling of excitement and feeling that you have to be with someone. Hindi naman talaga hinahanap yun, dumarating na lang. So I believe in something that happens out of faith, something that happens with divine intervention or divine appointments. I believe in magic. I believe in something electrifying. Of course, when that person comes, that person will be the ideal partner. Values in your heart is in the right place and love for family, country and just having that relationship with the Lord. It's not something that I see on the horizon anywhere near. So, I just focus on my work, just focus on whatever I have in hand and let's see where it takes me. It's hard to put in the words but if and when it comes, of course, I'll have to introduce her to you. I will have to really be proud of that feeling and just share it with everybody. Anong yung komento kaugnay dito? Shoutout tayo kina Julius Ramos, kay Bernardita Cañada, at kay Nimva Tobio. I-comment mo lang ang inyong opinion sa comment section at huwag kalimutang i-like, i-follow, i-subscribe ang busygram.net para sa mga latest happenings.